We put in an offer. Yay! <laughs> After, so I'll write up the offer. I send it to you to sign and review in an electronic email. And then once they accept it, uh, we get into the inspection period. We made it to the first house. Let's check it out. Pretty dry. Yeah, no, no, we don't have to look at the outside. Sure. It's kind of interesting front door. It's not a bad garage, but it is. It's cold. Yeah, it is cold. It doesn't feel like cold. Anything duct tape out there? It's got a really weird shower, <laughs> but you know, any rooms <laughs> in here for anything. That'd be pretty easy to update too. Those corner showers, you can yeah. snag one that's better. Really like them. <laughs> really interesting. <laughs> They're like, okay, Susie, you get to pick out the ceiling fan. There's some nice light coming in. Seen that. I've only seen it like this, where it like just ends <laughs> and then <laughs> head extra. Well, this is weird. Like a little walk. Well, if you're taking a poop and you gotta escape, you got your way out. Oh. Huh. <laughs> a little bit of a weird bathroom, I guess. Run! Yeah, this is weird. But it's a bathroom. But it is. It is a bathroom. It's. That must be where all the utilities are. Oh, and so it leads to this right. bathroom. So it's like a kid that says, I want to sleep in the basement. I'll oh, use the basement so they put ping pong tables. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. It's a room. Has a washer and dryer. Has and a washer and dryer. Floor's not. So we finally made it home. It was a full day to say the least. Mm -hmm. We looked at four houses today and I actually thought all of them were pretty nice and ones that we could see ourselves living in, but there was one that we really liked. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, the first one that we saw had a really nice kitchen with an open concept in the living room, dining room, kitchen area, and it had a nice fenced-in backyard that was a decent size. Not that big size that we were looking for, but, um, decent enough that we could go play fetch with Teddy and, um do gardening things and uh, build a fire pit if we want to. So that was all fun. Um, it was a five bedroom, three bathroom, and yeah, um, probably one of the biggest houses that we've looked at. And it was $300,000. So 
yeah, there's that one. And then after that, um, kind of spontaneous, we went to go see the first one again uh, because we had seen it and we were like, wow, we really, really like that one. It had a lot of the things that we were looking for. And so we went back. What was your thoughts when we went back? Um, I think I tried to look at the neighborhood more than the house at that point because we already knew the house pretty well. <laughs> um, but then again, I don't know what the normal house buying process is when it wasn't COVID. So it feels like we learn a house in 10 minutes. It doesn't seem like we're in there more than five, 10 minutes and we feel like we already have enough, like we know if we want it or not. Yeah. So I think we looked a lot more at the neighborhood um, as well as maybe some of the try to tally up the projects and see how much that would cost if we were to go with that house. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I think it's a hard decision and it's not one that is something you just make lightly and so that's been <laughs> stressful <laughs> to say the least but I think it's been a good experience so far um, and also we put in an offer yay! <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty cute because today is our seven year dating anniversary now we have to be specific because we're <laughs> married and apparently dating doesn't matter anymore once you get married. It's just the years of being married. But we're still celebrating, and so it's kind of fun that we got to put in an offer on a house. And I think we're at the point where, like, if this does work out, we'll be really happy. But if it doesn't, then we'll keep searching, yeah. and we'll find something else that we love. So we're kind of in that middle ground where it's like it'd be okay and we're not gonna be like heartbroken but and I don't think you can be like I don't think you can go into this experience being like I'm gonna find the one and I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna be so happy like it doesn't work that way and I think it's good that we kind of have for a first house yeah kind of have better expectations of that and I think we'll love it if it does work out it does have some things that need to be fixed and all of that, but honestly, at this price point, like, everything has something. Yeah. And so I guess it's just figuring out which thing, or which house has, like, the least some things or the, like, least annoying some things that we have to What things can you do. deal with, yeah. So... Yeah, we're super excited, and um, we're waiting to hear back on what happens with that. Um, the process has been a lot easier than I thought. I thought the whole offer process was going to take a super long time, and it was like, okay, you want to do this? Cool. Send me your pre-approval letter and your letter to the seller. So we just wrote like a cutesy little thing about ourselves. And sent that over, and our realtor really just did everything, everything. else. Yeah. And sent it over to us. We read it and signed it. And, yeah, we'll see what happens. So we sent in an offer at $299,000 with the seller paying 7000 in closing costs. And um, 3000 for earnest money, which is... 1%. One percent. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely see, and uh, hopefully things work out um, for whatever way they're supposed to work out, whatever that looks like. So, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Three days later. So, should we take that as they've accepted the offer? Great, that sounds amazing. Awesome, yeah, well thanks for all the great work you've done. And then we'll have an exciting next few days. Okay, we're so excited. What happened, Weston? So our realtor called us and said that they 
liked our offer, but they wanted some changes, so we're working with the realtor to try to um, make that happen, and they're potentially going to accept our offer. So, Yay! wish us luck! Yay! Yay! <laughs> so I just ate Cheetos. You okay? Teddy hurt his foot. Um, but the people like our offer. They kind of counter-offered, so we're kind of counter-offering back, and we're waiting to hear back. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Are you so excited, baby? Yes, I'm quite excited. Are you gonna tell somebody we bought a house? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yay! It's happening, it's happening. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> yesterday they accepted our offer. We did a little bit of negotiating back and forth because we were asking them originally to pay closing costs and <laughs> this is crazy.